Hey there. So I went out and recently purchased a brand new bandsaw. I just wanted to give it a quick review. This is a Craftsman model 21400. It's a 10 inch bandsaw. It's the same bandsaw as the Rikon 10 inch bandsaw. And I just wanted to give a quick review on it here on YouTube so that if anyone else is interested in purchasing this bandsaw at least they'll have some information on it. When I first pulled it out of the box uh, it really was not uh, ready to run although pulling it out of the box and plugging it in and turning it on yes of course it did work but I did find that all the adjustments definitely needed some help. The blade bearings here on the side were not adjusted properly the thrust bearing in the back was not adjusted properly and that also counts for the bottom as well down here in the bottom these were not adjusted either so I highly recommend that you take the time and adjust those properly um, if you don't know how you can search up here on YouTube for how to adjust your bandsaw guide bearings. I would definitely recommend taking the table off when you make all of your adjustments and also when you adjust the the saw blade itself up in here I would definitely look into adjusting that again mine was not you just adjust it right here so that your blade is properly adjusted on the top wheel like I said, um, it was not, not uh, adjusted properly, so I just took about maybe 15 minutes, and that's all about what it took for me to adjust it, and I'm not a professional bandsaw operator by any means. But overall, the, the saw does cut well. I'll give you the little specs here, so in case you would like to see that. It's got a one-third one -third horsepower motor. Uh, it's not the greatest. This definitely doesn't have a lot of power, but I've been able to cut uh, three by three uh, oak with it without a problem with the stock blade. Of course, um, I would definitely recommend buying quality blades for it when you when you uh, get a new blade. It does have a two and a half inch dust port, and I would highly recommend also using it. Uh, you can see mine's connected to a shop back that I have here. It works really good. It really does pick up the dust fairly well. And I'm going to go ahead and show you just how it cuts. I've already been cutting several pieces of wood that I've been doing, but it cuts really square real nice of course you have to adjust it to make it do that the actual table that it's sitting on uh, I cut the wood on this bandsaw to make this just to give you an idea of what it can cut again it's not a super heavy duty model so of course this is not the one for you if you want to uh, use it for industrial purposes for but for at home and light duty work uh, overall it's a pretty decent bandsaw. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this camera on the tripod so I can show you how it cuts. Just bear with me a moment. Here we go. It's real quiet operation as well. It doesn't, uh, it's not very loud. The vacuum's actually louder than it, of course. I'll go ahead and I'm going to just cut a cut on a quarter inch piece of wood that I have here. You can hear it. It's really quiet. You see how I slid that out of there? 
and that kind of lets you know that it's adjusted properly so I took the time of course to do it and I recommend you do that too so overall my thoughts on the Craftsman 10 inch bandsaw model 21400 for $169 uh, it's a good deal you know I mean for the home use yes for you know industrial sh shops or you know heavy duty work I definitely invest more money in getting a uh, bigger bandsaw but again just for the overall do-it-yourselfer it's not bad well I hope this has helped someone out there in making their decision on purchasing this bandsaw or a bandsaw like it like I said the Rikon is like the same one actually I believe Rikon probably makes this for Craftsman but uh, the Craftsman's definitely a lot cheaper. The Rikon, I think, is about $300, and this is $169. Well, that's about it for the, the bandsaw review. Hope you, hope you uh, liked it, and have a good one.